Hey everybody, Steve the Average Gamer back. We're going to take on now the Nemesis Beast. We're at the very end of Chapter 2, Rise to Power in the Campaign. The achievements for this, before we get to the briefing, win with only two bases, one base, or zero bases purchased. I'm going to be quiet so you guys can hear the briefing. It turns out that was no ordinary geomagnetic storm. It was the precursor to a supermassive planet-swallowing space beast. No wonder the blobs fled the area. The storms being projected by the beast are preventing you from getting in contact with the home system. So it's up to you to save the system, the realm, and perhaps the galaxy itself. The beast appears to be growing in power every hour. So you must act now before it's too late. Okay, pretty standard briefing set. The rules for this, I'm actually going to come back to that in just a second. I'm going to go into my settings, turn down the sound so you're not too loud when uh, we're doing some attacks both directions. The rules are different for this one. The Nemesis has no deck. It doesn't play any cards. And as we go through this, you're actually going to see how this plays out. So after my turn, the leftmost card in the trade row, the one that's by the Explorers, that's going to get scrapped, everything is going to shift to the left, and a new card is added at the far end. The faction determines what's going, what the beast is going to do. So if a blob card comes out, it's going to destroy a base. I'm going to try to go for three stars, so it's just going to gain three combat instead. If it's a machine cult, a random card from my hand goes back on top of my deck. If it's a Star Empire card, I think this one... Or it's pretty bad. I discard two cards. And for the Trade Federation, the Beast gains five authority. It's starting off at 50. I'm starting off at 75. So if I can whittle it down pretty hard, pretty fast, I should do okay as well. Now, if I go heavy on Star Empire cards, which is kind of my standard when I play this game, I instead draw a card and discard a card instead. So let's say I play an Imperial Fighter. I have a uh, scout in my deck or in my hand that i don't want to play this turn i discard it i pull something out anything that allows me to destroy target base like a blob destroyer or the missile mech i just get three combat instead since it does not have a deck let's see if we can take this guy on so the first move is mine the blob carrier is going to get scrapped as we go through this, I'll pick up an Explorer because it's all I can get. And it's all bases. Again, I'm trying to go for this one. So these bases are going to get scrapped as we go through. And I'm going to be very limited on what I can buy. You just saw the card go back into the deck. I'm pretty sure it was a scout based on what I have. We have a trade bot. Don't have that blob destroyer just yet. And note, it does have a card in its hand. What we're going to be seeing with that is you're going to see extra. Um, so three attack. And it did five damage to me that turn, because it's got the two cards. Each one does one. I think it's Vipers every turn that come in. So we'll grab the Blob Destroyer up, because that's going to give me some good stuff. And I'm just going to scrap the Explorer. I'm just going to try to rotate these cards through pretty quick. It's already doing six damage to me now each turn. Um, again, try to avoid going for the bases. The Battle Mech, if I can get that, that's going to be really helpful. Discarding two. Not gonna be able to get the battle mech, but I can get the Corvette and one other card here. Corvette. Missile mech. That's what I need to get badly, so I'm not gonna scrap that guy here. He's gonna do seven damage to me this turn. Eight, sorry, because he's got three. Plus those five. Alright. Three, four, five, six. There, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go for this guy just because I've got a couple of machine cult cards in my hand to let me draw up, and I'll get nine attack every turn off of them. You know what? I'm gonna scrap these guys too. Let's see if I can get this guy rotating through faster because he's dealing some heavy duty damage each turn. Just, damn it, forced my uh. Trade pod back into the deck. This guy up, deal six damage. 
This mission can be very hard if you don't get the right cards coming out, since he just got a Trade Federation card, he just got 5 health back. Alright, I've got enough to get the Battle Blob, so I'm going to pull it down. It's going to be 12 attack when I use it. Do this. Not a lot in the way of attacks coming down for me right now, just because my cards are not coming out in the right order. Um, no, I'm going to discard these two. No. I need the fighter and I need an explorer right now, so I'm going to discard these guys. Scrap a scout. Get the fighter, because that's going to let me redraw a card. And while the next turn goes, I'm going to get some water. Okay, the health was not a good thing for him. So I get six, plus I get an extra three for the destroy target base. Now I got some damage I can deal. Fortunately, how much does he have in his hand? He's got nine vipers, so he's going to deal at least ten damage to me on this next turn. I've got two turns left to take him out. Uh, this is going to be my last turn, my last chance to take him out right here, because I have no health coming in right now. Let's grab the mech. I didn't get it. Damn, thought I had him on that one. It's all those all those vipers that come in. So let's try again. Alright, the battle cruiser is gonna get scrapped. I'm gonna go for the ram because if I get that out at the right time, I can get that block carrier to come into play. Um hmm. I'm gonna drop the two vipers off. No. I'm going to drop my two scouts off. I want to deal a little more damage to them. Get the fighter, because that's going to let me redraw. Let's see what we got. Okay. This one lets me discard and redraw, so I'm going to do that. See what, just gamble on it. Just a lot of punching here. Can't get the trade escort, although that would be a great card for me to have, unfortunately. All right. Get the battle pod, get the trade pod. Having a battle pod in is gonna help me. Oh, damn it, quit putting heavy. Oh yes, since I have the redraw ability. Doesn't help me any on this guy. This is just gonna be good for getting a little bit of health my way, which I'm gonna pick up because you just saw how badly that last one went. Gonna go for the battle pod. I know the supply bot's good, but I need punching right now more than I need to buy. All right, um, scrap going to the trade row. I'm just going for punching. I think that's a smart play right now. Scrap the fleet HQ. See what we get. Nothing good. Some heavy duty damage. The battle pod should be fine. So I'm gonna scrap this guy and get the frigate. It's gonna let me do another redraw. Okay, two buying works for me, and it doesn't matter. It is a random scrap I've got. Did ten damage there. I redraw a scout because I'm going for the punches. Damn, blob destroyer! Ooh, okay, I get a chance to get another blob destroyer. No, I don't. Okay. 15. Hopefully you see what I'm trying to go for here. Wait, cancel. What do I have here? Another scout. So it's academic to redraw him. I could have scrapped... All right, well, I've got enough here to do the damage I need, so it doesn't matter what I scrap at this point. Battle pod goes out. Another battle pod goes out. I've got 8, authority, 12 attack. Oh, by the cutter. Why not? Let's get that. And that is it. We've actually made it through Chapter 2. I'm surprised it took me that few attempts. I remember... I vaguely remember the first time going through this, it took me many more attempts to get through this one mission. I was playing, I think, heavily on just squirreling away and just buying a lot of trade units. But for this one, I recommend 
a couple of trade units, then start going heavy on the attack and to start laying into him every turn. Because every turn, he's going to deal at least one damage to you because of the cards he's got on, or that he's drawing into this deck that he has each game. That is it for Chapter 2. The next video, we're going to go straight into Chapter 3. Like, subscribe, and comment for more content, and I shall see you all later.